Welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about a game I have been playing for the past couple of weeks. Mortal Online 2. So far I've played around with roughly about five different characters. Um, I've done various different ability, er, builds. Magic, stamina, archery, taming, uh, crafting. I've pretty much done most things I, I could do. Um, most of my playtime has been inside of Haven because of the amount of times I've created a new character. And the amount of time I've been able to play during the day or after work or anything like that. Uh, I have spent a bit of time in outside of Haven in Meduli. I didn't get much time to explore due to a game breaking bug I ended up having to delete that character. But that's not what I'm going to be talking about today. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the things I've learned about in the game itself. Now, regarding the first thing you're going to learn about the game is the character creation. You're going to be thrown a bunch of different things. and You're not going to know what they are or what they do. Uh, what I'm referring to is going to be the size, your weight, and where's my age? Is my age over here? Oh, here it is. And your age. All of this does affect your stat total. As well as your race. Now, I am playing on an elf. Stamina focused. With the ability to go to magic if I want to. Um, but right now, I'm focused mostly for bows and swords. So I went with a stout character. Age 30. And medium size. This gave me a bonus to my dexterity, but also the stout took away some of that bonus, so my dexterity ended up around 116. But also at the same time gave me a bonus to strength, making my bows be a little bit stronger. While also being able to have some decent stats here. Overall, I like this character. I've played around with it in various different ways. Played around with the skid or the clade gifts. A bit just I've had a lot of fun with this character which brings me to my next point changing your stats is very very easy as you can see I have all these locked my attribute points are at zero so I can't gain anymore at the moment but if I wanted to say lose strength and gain intelligence I just put this to a minus put this to a plus et voila now, I am reading, so I don't really want to do that right now. So we're going to lock those. But it literally is as simple as that. All you do is minus the skill you want, plus the skill you want, and you'll go up as easy as reading a book. Resting, pretty much anything you do will start minusing that skill, or that point, and it'll start plusing the other one. And then skills, action, and profession, while you do have a limited number, it's very easy to go from a potion maker to a weapon maker. This same character I've done all my videos on regarding bow crafting, armor crafting, shield crafting, potion crafting, um, just experimenting with all of it, getting it getting the gist of that so what I recommend is play with it see what you like it's very in-depth there is a lot to learn see which one you like more and then dive into it learn as much as you can speak to other people that know more about it than you know you do so that we can learn from them you know a game like this you're going to meet a lot of people you're going to want to be in a guild if you don't want to be in a guild, that's fine. Um, it'll hinder you in some way, but you know, you, being in a guild gives you more resources to be able to get this information, be able to find this sort of stuff, especially if they are more experienced than you are. We just finished a book. 
Skills, at least in the stress test, are very easy. As you see, I have a ton of books. If you want to get a skill, you just read your book. Voila. Books you have to spend gold to buy. Gold is very easy to come by, so don't worry about that. Gold, you, you'll part with gold very easily. You can pick roses. You can pick flowers. You can pick basically anything you find. You can go out and take it. You can find a bear. Kill the bear if you're strong enough. Uh, you can basically sell basically almost anything. Gold is very easy to come by. At least right now in the stress test. I don't know how they're going to change things once Persistence is launched. Once it is actually released. The game is still in its early stages so there are still bugs there are still glitches there are still a lot of issues do you keep that in mind if you do play during this time or if you're watching this video when the game releases you know things can be very much different now game like this you will die a lot and by a lot I mean a lot if you're in Haven, you know, you can f you can run into a bear. And early on in, in the game, bears are very, very difficult to kill. If you're not wearing armor, they're going to hit you for a lot of damage. Uh, when I was first playing, when I was first learning, you know, first couple days, I ran into a bear. Surprised the living hell out of me, it killed me very quickly. You know, that, that was part of the whole learning experience. And we totally missed that jump. There we go. Explore. Explore as much as you can. You know, you'll never know what you'll find. Bears over there. sea dew over there. Granum. You know, Haven. That, there is a lot to find in Haven. But once you're done in Haven, don't be afraid to go to places like Meduli or... Fabernum or Tindrum, stuff like that. PvP isn't terrible. You know, there's not... Well, yes, there are griefers, but there, there's not an overabundance of griefers. You are going to be able to play. You are going to be able to have fun. And you can even have fun with the griefers. You know, you can haunt them if you want to. You can actually... They can actually hear you talk, which is hilarious. So if you have a mic, you want to mess around with them after they kill you, go right ahead. But also, that will bring me to my next point. Only carry that which you are willing to part with. When I was in Meduli, if I didn't want to lose my armor, I didn't want to lose my weapons, my items, I just ran around naked. Looking for a horse to tame, I just ran around naked with some dial. You know, uh, there are going to be people that attack you when you're in the middle of mining. There are going to be people that attack you when you're away from your keyboard. You know, if you are going to be away from your keyboard, don't be in an obvious location or bank your items or just log out and log back in. You know, th those are easily the best ways to avoid being griefed like that. You know, even in Haven, I've had people try to push me into a river. I was in the bank, I came back after being away from my keyboard and I was being pushed towards the river. They didn't get me into the river because I showed it back up. You know, things like that will happen. The game though, it, it's it's an amazing game despite complications like that, despite the bugs that it has right now or anything. It, it is an amazing game, an amazing experience. There are a lot of great people that I've met I've played with. Now, next thing I want to mention, if we can get some combat, is the combat system. This game uses a directional based combat. As you can see on the center of my screen, a little arrow in the direction I'm moving my mouse. And if you hold down, you'll notice that you do an attack from that direction. Just like that. 
Now I have that down way too long, mainly because it doesn't really matter. You can also block these directions. I've also changed my hotkeys around a bit, so now my Q is top, my E is mid. Just to give a little more easy of ease of access. But that was the only thing I changed. I changed the way that it works. The options you have here, you have mouse, click, then drag, mouse, drag, then click, or movement keys. Now, I like this one. You might like this one, you might like this one. Play around with that. Check it out. Use whichever one it, that works best for you. You can play around with this. Now also, I didn't actually think about this until I, I noticed that. Criminal actions. Now, in Haven you don't need to worry about criminal actions. You can't attack anybody. You can't do anything criminal. But outside of Haven, if that is turned off, and somebody attacks you, if they are not criminal, you can't defend yourself. When I first left Haven, the very first person that killed me, I could not fight back. Because I had that d disabled. And I did lose my loot because of it. I lost my gear, I lost my armor, my weapon. Because I didn't turn that on. And that was my own mistake. That's why I'm mentioning it, mentioning it now. Now, this direction, we're going to find some wolves, probably a, around five or six. We'll be able to see some of the combat firsthand here shortly. Maybe a razorback, possibly even a bear. Always be prepared for combat. Always. You can have a bear come out of nowhere. I've had a bear come out of here and kill me because I wasn't prepared for combat. I, I wasn't ready to fight the bear. Gear-wise, I was nowhere near being ready. And at the same time, I wasn't anywhere near being ready at all. I was looking for wolves. Now... Hmm. Let's see what else we have. Ah, yes. Now, on the topic of inventory. You see, we have a lot of items here, but our weight isn't that high. You always want to be mindful of the amount of weight you have. You want to pay attention to various different stats. This will tell you how far you can move before you can no longer move with the amount of weight. As you can see, I can move when I'm carrying 114 kilograms. That, that's when I stop moving. So I can carry that much before I can no longer move. But when you're carrying close to that much, your movement speed is slowed significantly. Now, if I were carrying around 40 or 50 kilograms, I wouldn't be able to swim. Now, let's see if we can get our taming up. Apparently not. Alright, well, let's get this carcass. I thought I had something else over here. The music in this game is nice, although it's not always active. I'm also going to show you another trick here. I'm going to save a thousand of this so we can cook it. If you're looking to tame a creature, one of the best methods you can use to tame a creature is cook the carcass. 
and get a big bonus to the lore of that creature. Let's see if we can find a wolf also. I want to get some wolf hide. So our, our wolf carcass so I can cook it. Oh look, a wolf. Really? Let's tame this wolf real quick, and then I'll kill another wolf. This is how taming in this game works. If you have the skill, you'll be able to tame the creature. We failed to tame this wolf. We could try again. Pretty simple. Wolves in this, they're not really a threat. Alright, I think we got this one. Cool. Oh, hold on. I need to feed you, don't die. There you go. I like having pets in this game. It's one of my favorite things. It's what I'm looking forward to the most. Is the pet system. I love the fact that you can tame so many different creatures. Bush pig, bush pig, bush pig. Let's go find one more wolf. We're probably going to find a herd of wolves though. I guess we lost our wolf. Hopefully not. Just look at that view. Also, down here, you can find a lot of sea dew, good for healing. Make lots of healing potions with it. This will make it to where... My lore for pigs is now at 90. Almost at 100. We lost our pet. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I shall leave my Discord link down below. Uh, if you'd like to join up and just talk about gaming or just about anything... Definitely feel free to join. Um, I hope you have a great day. Happy gaming.